Well, Daniel Andrews' private office has been accused of directing Labor MPs while they were on an independent parliamentary committee which cut short testimony from the state's anti-corruption commissioner. The leaked findings obtained by Sky News also recommend stronger guidelines about public and private hearings as the federal parliament debates similar issues. Victorian political reporter Simon Love has the details. It was a hearing which stunned many on Spring Street. Is that the reason why Daniel Andrews was... Sorry, again, again, again. Can public? we cut the feed, please? Labor MP and now Victorian Minister Harriet Shing ordering the public broadcast of evidence from the state's corruption commissioner be cut short. Now, a leaked report from opposition members of the Integrity and Oversight Committee obtained by Sky News takes aim at Ms Shing. The minority findings also accuse the Premier's office of being involved. This calculated decision of the chair was, in our view, an exercise of misguided authority that consequently raised broader concerns about the chair's handlings of the public inquiry. Throughout the course of this inquiry, opposition members have become aware of Labor government members being directed by operatives within the Premier's private office. Months later, IBAC and the Ombudsman confirmed that the Premier had been questioned in private hearings in an investigation which found the misuse of public funds to fuel branch stacking. A government spokesperson said Minister Shing is no longer a member of the committee, however she has always conducted herself appropriately in any role she has held by keeping the work of committees confidential. The Integrity and Oversight Committee is completely independent from the government and any suggestion otherwise is false. The inquiry was sparked by the suicide of a Melbourne councillor, Amanda Stapledon. But the committee didn't achieve its goal, according to the leaked report. The committee failed to call any witnesses through its public hearing process that were directly and personally involved in the subject matter of the inquiry, including direct family members, friends and colleagues. And the report takes aim at the committee's dealings with the Corruption Commissioner. The committee also failed to engage in comprehensive dialogue with the Commissioner of the Independent Broad-Based Anti-Corruption Commission, the Honourable Robert Redley QC, at his request. Quite clearly, the Labor members of the committee were trying to protect the Premier. They're running a protection racket for Daniel Andrews because they didn't want questions to be asked about why Daniel Andrews had private hearings when so many witnesses in these inquiries had public hearings. The Liberals have pledged that if elected, they would increase IVAC's funding and change the test for how the Commission determines if a matter is held in public or private. We'll restore greater capacity for IBAC to have public hearings. We'll reduce the capacity for parties to tie IBAC up in courts uh, to stop uh, reports being published. A direct reference to Operation Sandon, a report into developer John Woodman, which likely won't be released before the election. As for the funding argument, the Premier is adamant that his government has given the agency everything it needs. In terms of uh, funding for our integrity agencies, they all have more funding today than they've ever had. Um, will, I, will I always want more? Well, there's a budget every year and each year that we've been in power we've boosted their funding and given them the resources that they've asked for. But it seems this leaked report accused the Premier's office of doing more than just that. Simon Love, Sky News, Melbourne.